I'm, I'm optimist. I'm very optimist. I'm an optimist. I'm very optimistic. Tag Enrad joins us from uh, London. We've heard all this before. What's different this time round? Uh, not a lot, uh, I would think. One, one thing he was optimistic or hopeful of, I think, at this European summit in Latvia was that he'd be able to knock some leaders' heads together and actually gain some kind of leniency from them. But the clear message, and it's been the same message from France and Germany, is don't think there's any other way out of this. The message to Greece is that their negotiations are squarely with the IMF, the European Commission and the European Central Bank. Now, uh, the German Chancellor, Angela Merkel, did have a face to face meeting with Alexis Tsipras uh, last night and lasted into the small hours actually uh, of the morning. She too described it as friendly and constructive, but she also said there's an awful lot more work to do. It was a very friendly and constructive exchange, but it is also clear that there is more work to do with the three institutions. There is still a large amount to do. France and Germany has offered to discuss any questions that arise with Greece and the Greek Prime Minister and to give help when it is needed. But the agreement must be found with the three institutions and there must be a lot of intensive work on this. I think the only thing they really agreed on was that there is indeed more work to do. Now, bear in mind, earlier this week, the Greeks were saying they expected a deal to be done by the end of this week. That's obviously not happening now. Uh, the Greeks are now saying they expect a deal to be done within 10 days. And that takes us very close to that June 5th deadline where they're making their next payment to the, uh, to the IMF. So uh, it is tricky times. And those tricky times, uh, when does the deadline run out? Give us an overview of what the current position is. Well, June 5th is when they make their next payment to the IMF. That's a $300 million payment. And bear in mind, the last payment, they only barely scraped it together. It was a bigger payment, but they were raiding the coffers of hospitals, other state agencies, uh, to pay it. So, you know, we are in you know, dangerous territory here. And the issue for Syriza and its uh, leadership, the, the Greek government, is that they have to appease their MPs back in Parliament. Some of them are even more extreme than those who are involved in the negotiations. Uh, and that is probably why Athens is clinging so closely to what is called its red lines in these negotiations. Right. Greece has been on a mission impossible since it was bailed out five years ago. Raising taxes, sacking civil servants and slashing the minimum wage while trying to get the economy growing again. Public anger is palpable. In January, Greeks elected a new government which has refused to implement any more pain. So the bailout money has stopped and four months of talks have gone nowhere. Now Greece is at growing risk of default. The deadline for its next debt repayment is June the 5th. The deadlock has come down to this. Four red lines that the Greek government says it won't cross. Athens says it won't cut pensions, extend the retirement age or change benefits for early retirees. The government has a growth plan which involves spending money to boost the economy and it wants that to be part of the deal. The Troika has given Greece a primary surplus target of 3% this year. Athens says it won't cut spending to achieve that. And rather than another bailout and more surveillance, the government wants debt restructuring to allow it to repay its existing loans in a longer and more sustainable way. These are the points on which the Greek government says there's no room for compromise. We would describe it as an impossible trinity. Syriza wants to stay in the euro, which is a good thing. They also want to stay in government, but at the same time they're struggling to do what it takes to remain in the currency union. So that's the trilemma that they face. These are impossible altogether, so one has to give. And while these red lines remain, the pain continues. More than one in four Greeks are out of work, and having shrunk 25% in five years, the economy is back in recession. Without a compromise, and the EU and IMF won't release the last $8 billion instalment of bailout money. No more cash and Greece will probably default on its debts and then it could leave the euro. 
if or when that might happen is unknown and the consequences impossible to estimate. Well, this weekend, Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras won't be negotiating with the Troika. He'll be negotiating with his own party when he meets their central committee for a, a two-day meeting. And those extreme MPs will be wanting to know just where he has made compromises, how far he's gone. Uh, and the danger is, of course, if he goes too far, they pull the plug on his government. And then where would we be? Uh, well, Richard? We'll find out not too long in the future. Ty Gunright, thank you.